I was going to show you what I did to this transducer, um, the Hollywood 7 trick. Um, Tyson Cape 123 said uh, you can order these without that sensor on, so you wouldn't have to do this. You can go look at one of my um, videos, I think the manufacturer is on there. I did look at their website, but you have to call them, I guess, and order it special without the sensor. You won't, won't have to worry about doing this, but what I did is uh, I tapped out the holes and I put Teflon around the screw make sure no gasoline get down there this one is the one that actually um, is pushing a wire to ground to make it continuity between the case and uh, that's where the sensor used to come up across here if you want to protect this wire you could either do some epoxy around the wire or what I was thinking about is um, I thought it would be pretty nice you can take a piece of this uh, CPVC which is gas resistant you could also clean this area up, weld the tube to the base, and then bring the tube straight up out of the gas. Maybe put some silicon up top to keep the gas from going in the tube and that to protect the wire. These are ceramic discs. I don't know if anybody really seen inside these things here. But uh, there's a spring in there. And uh, like I said, this is ceramic. They do make Teflon, which I like to try. And here's an O-ring. This O-ring goes in here. It's kind of swelled up there. I don't know if it's swelled or that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know if the gas is doing that, but um, it goes back in the hole, but you got to play with it. So I wanted to show you the tricks I did to keep this a little safer. I didn't like putting electronics in my gasoline. Later I have a transducer coming from another YouTuber, um, Daryl. He's going to uh, let me try a transducer and amplifier, something like a parts cleaner. I'm going to try that out, like underneath the gas and see if it can fog the gas. I'm changing the generator right now. Um, the, the, the fog was turning into a, a liquid state which I don't want. So what I did is I built this system here. Transducer will be in here. They do splash so the splashing will stay into the curve and then the fog will be pulled up through this brass section right into the uh, carburetor's jet that I made. So we'll see how that works. Probably be more stable. But I just wanted to show you how you modify a uh, Transducer, maybe keep a little safer. Some people don't do much with them holes, but I'm always afraid about gas leaking down into that transducer. Like I said, I don't know what's in there, but I'm not going to cut one in half to find out because that's $75 right there. Um, and the taps I use, you want to use a tap with the flat, flat part right there, not the pointy one on the right, because you can go down a little farther with the threads. You can see that in there. So. Uh, that's about it for today, and I'll get this together next week and start her up again and see how she does. So um, have a nice day, and have fun. Bye.